Seven years ago today, a remarkable recording was made in the German concentration camp of Bergen-Belsen. The recording became part of a radio report on the liberation of that death camp that was filed by Patrick Gordon Walker, who worked for the BBC. This is London calling North America. The day I reached Belsen concentration camp, the fifth day of liberation, was a Friday, the day before the Jewish Sabbath. Something like half the surviving prisoners at Belsen were Jews, and the Jewish chaplain to the British Second Army, the Reverend L. H. Hardman, held an eve of the Sabbath service in the open air in the midst of the camp. It was the first Jewish service that many of the men and women present had taken part in for six years. It was probably the first Jewish service held on German soil in absolute security and without fear for a decade. Around us lay the corpses that there had not been time to clear away, even after five days. 40,000 or more had been cleared, but there were still one or two thousand around. And people were still lying down and dying in broad daylight in front of our eyes. This was the background to this open-air Jewish service. During the service, the few hundred people gathered together were sobbing openly with joy at their liberation and with sorrow at the memory of their parents and brothers and sisters that had been taken from them and gassed and burned. These people knew they were being recorded. They wanted the world to hear their voice. They made a tremendous effort which quite exhausted them. Listen. <laughs> Children of Israel still liveth. Amen. Survivors of Bergen Belson singing Hatikva at Shabbat services on April 20th, 1945, following their liberation by British troops of the Second Army. That transcription of a shortwave broadcast was made in New York City by Mo Ash. The recently discovered recording comes to us from the Smithsonian Center for American Folklife. <laughs> 